Now, uh, she is a, a Caribbean media superstar here in, in based here in Atlanta, uh, but of course internationally known, and has um, been a radio host, um, a, a TV host. Um, you've seen her on the red carpet uh, doing all of the big celebrity interviews. Uh, she's now an entrepreneur, or, or not just now, but um, you know, has, has founded her own radio station. And I got to say also is an author. So she's just a, a, a renaissance woman uh, doing a whole lot of, of things. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome for the first time here on the Island Heat Show. Ro Solo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me. Good evening, good evening, Super Peck and Lady Lalabella. How are you? Oh, I'm delightful. It's so good to see you. <laughs> Thanks for joining us this evening. Thank you, thank you for having me. I was looking around to see who he was talking about, but I, thank you. Thank you for that amazing <laughs> intro. <laughs> Well, well, thank you for coming and spending some time with us here on the show. We definitely wanted to get you on. It's important for us to um, to have all of those people in media here in Georgia who have been helping to tell our stories and spread our stories to the world, make sure that we're represented. It's important for us to you know, also spotlight these very, very important people, and you have been doing big things in this industry for quite some time. So congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's fun. It's a, I've been learning and growing and um, Caribbean by, by um, parentage, but um, um, it's, I'm a Caribbean to the bone. So I love my culture. I love our diaspora. I love talking about our culture and sharing our culture with the world. So, yeah. Thank now, you. You have a, a mixed Caribbean background. Tell I do. Me. I do. Tell, My tell mother. Us, us uh, <laughs> I don't know how this happened because you know these two islands shouldn't mix together. Trust me. But um, <laughs> my mom is from Jamaica, Anchovy, Jamaica, and um, my father is from Trinidad, and they somehow got together in Boston, Massachusetts, where I was born. And then they shipped me off to Jamaica to grow up. So they didn't ship me, but yeah, I grew up in Jamaica. So um, yeah, that was it. Was uh, I have a little bit of Trini. So I always say that I'm um, American born, Yadi raised, Trini to the bone. So there you go. All right, yeah. I like that lineup. Fresh. Thank you. I know. I know a nice little mix, right? <laughs> <laughs> So tell us about your media experience and what makes you such a, an outstanding maven in all of these different facets from writing a book, hosting TV, and even, you know, doing your own radio show. Um, God's grace. <laughs> um, I, I, I was lucky um, to start with uh, Ezzie B on 106 Live Radio and he sort of, you know, gave you all the ins and outs. He made sure that um, you did it right from the very beginning. And so I, I think I started with a great foundation. And from the moment I started from that very first show, and as we started to do interviews, and I always said the show was the voice for the voiceless. So I did a lot of, you know, up and coming superstars, st musicians, artists, authors. And, um, and then I started working with Caribbean Life TV and that got me backstage with a lot of the top artists. We talked about Romaine Virgo, one of my favorite interviews. So um, it was just God's grace and just timing and just, um, just, just I, I think I was in awe of it all <laughs> as it was all happening. Um, with, with, with working with 106, I got to do um, the television series and the models of um, Atlanta and Women on the Rise. And that got me to you know be on television and i remember that first day that saturday when it aired and you know he called me the producer he's like you're on tv and i'm like ah, okay whatever <laughs> and i turn on the tv i'm like i'm on tv so um it just all has just worked out and, and aligning myself i've been aligned with some amazing amazing people to be able to co-author an international bestseller and just just keep pushing you know keep pushing from the moment i started i knew i wanted to have my own station. I told Ezzy and I told Lawrence from Caribbean Life as well that I, I want to have my own station. I want to do this. I, I knew what it was. I had the business plan written from like day two 
And so um, I'm very, very excited that we were able to launch Phoenix Radio last October. So, yeah. Congratulations. Big things. Thank big you. Things, big things. Big things. <laughs> Phoenix Radio. <laughs> But yeah, congratulations to the both of you as well um, on your show and, and doing so well and all your successes. And again, you know, you, Super Peck said it, just being able to share our culture with the world. And you said it um, earlier, Lady Lalabella, that it's, you know, it's it's a diverse culture. It's all hues. It's all, you know, we want the community. It's international. And I think we are privileged with this assignment to be able to do that. And not many people get to be able to do this and, and share what we love and share our culture with the world. So congratulations to you as well. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Um, You're welcome. One of your your uh, uh, phrases you've coined, the dare to live your dreams. Yes. Tell, yes, tell, fearless. Tell, yes, tell, tell, uh, yeah, make sure we get it right. And tell, yeah. Yes, be fearless. <laughs> pursuit of what sets your soul on fire so fearlessly and dare to live your dreams. Yes. Um, I think because I'm, I'm, I am living in that moment every single day, I, I dared to, uh, when I started in the, in the media business, I, I didn't, I had no idea what I was doing. I'd never gone on radio before. I didn't know how to push a button, press start, do anything. <laughs> and, um, and it was my dream. I've wanted to do this for such a long time. And, I just remember, as he's saying, just stay, be authentic, remain who you are, you know, be transparent. And that, that will resonate with the audience and with the people that you interview. When you're interviewing, just have a conversation. There's, don't be nervous, just do your thing. And so every day I dare to live my dream. Every day I'm, I'm living my dream by being able to interview some amazing artists within our, and, and people within our community. Um, here abroad everywhere you know being able to go on the red carpet and 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 speak to people in our diaspora in our cult in our community it's it's just been an absolute honor to be able to do it so yes dare to live your dream be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire yep <laughs> awesome awesome um well you've also been honored by the great state of georgia with a, a proclamation um, tell us yeah. about about that, um, about receiving that, and what that means, you know, to you. Oh well, that was a huge honor. Um, Donna McLeod, uh, representative House, uh, former representative House representative Donna McLeod, the first Jamaican in the House of Representatives here in Georgia, but, 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 um, but, but, who is someone I met through media and became a very good friend, and. Um, she said to me when when she called me about it she said i need your name and information and i'm like what are you doing you know what's going on she's like well you're getting a proclamation and i'm like for what <laughs> you know i haven't what have i done and when she handed it to me um she said you know one of the key things that she wanted to do was give the people within her community their flowers now not later and um she just said you know you're doing some some great things in the community you're you're you have a diverse selection of interviews that you, you you interview anyone and I will I'll interview anyone I don't care I'll go from the Gaza to the gala I don't really care I'll go anywhere um so as long as it's you know it, it, it's going to enlighten our community and educate us I'll go I'll do it um but it's just it's just it's an honor I when I when I think about it I, I have it right here when I think about it it's and I was honored with so many other people. So as everyone else started getting their 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 awards and their certificates, I'm like, well, I mean, what did I do? But I accept it graciously because um, I know that even if I don't feel that I am doing enough to receive it, I know that she felt that, and that means a lot to me. And the Secretary of State felt that. So I'm just going to continue to do what needs to be done so I know that I deserve that award. So I'm going to continue to represent our community. I'm going to continue to speak out about our culture, um, whether it be right, wrong, or indifferent. Sometimes my opinion is not the opinion of the masses, but I will still speak it. And um, just being consistent to uplift our community and letting the world know that we are amazing. The Caribbean culture is awesome. We are amazing people. Um, and we are we have so much to offer this world. 
you know, we have so much to offer this world and not just music, not just reggae or soca, but, but so much more in regards to politics and regards to being an author and, and writing and books and teaching and everything that we do, everything we touch is golden. Everything we touch is golden. Awesome, awesome. I, I love it. Lady Lila Bella, did you hear from, from the Gaza to the Gala? Yes, yes, I go from the Gaza to the Gala. I do. I've done it before. I've done it before. You will see me at a sound clash and then you'll see me at the Gala. I will be there. <laughs> <laughs> I am that girl. And I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. Sometimes my mom thinks I'm a little bit too much, but you know, it is what it is. She sent me to Jamaica. She could have sent me to Trinidad, but she sent me to Jamaica. So, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah. <laughs> Class and sophistication, though. Absolutely. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I try. I try. I'm, I'm very, I'm, you know, the journey has been um, so exciting. And I, as I said, I met some people along the way. And one of the people that I met who's no longer here um, was this uh, Queen Linus, Empress Linus. And I met her in the very beginning of this journey. And um, she just she just motivated me and mentored me because I told her as well, I want to have a station. I want to have what you have. And she just gave me the blueprint. You know, she just, again, similar to what Ezzy said, just stay true to what you want. Stay true to what, what do you want to bring the community? You know, what's going to make your station different from everyone else's? And if it's not different, how are you going to stay true to who you are and what you and the message that you want to um, relate to the community? And that's what I try to do. That's what I try to do. Awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Praises to the most high in that breath. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Now the road solo show. All right. Yes. It airs um, Tuesdays on uh, and Thursdays and Thursdays on the Phoenix radio. <laughs> Tell people what will they experience when they listen to the road solo show? Well, you know, again, I'm, I'm um, American born, Jamaican raised, trained to the bone. So you get all of row, you know, that full mix. Um, I play a diverse selection of music. I, I, I remain, I always want to be the voice to the voiceless. So you won't only have, you know, popular stars that are in the industry, but you'll have up and coming stars, authors, politicians, um, community workers, civil servants, um, ex-convicts. <laughs> it's a full range of people that, you know, um, have something to say that have a voice within our community. So we have interviews. We have um, we do discuss the news a little bit with my little spin on it. Sometimes it's called in the know. Uh, we have I provide nurturing nuggets, which is an inspirational, motivational piece that I do at the end of the show. Just you know, reminding us to stay true to ourselves. Um, make sure you keep your mindset right so you can move on in life and pursue what you want to. And yeah, we just have a good time. Two hours Tuesday and Thursday. Now that we're on Phoenix Radio, and just a diverse selection of of of, of information, of news, of music, of conversation. Very, very, very interesting conversations. Tomorrow, I have a captivating conversation with Pressure Bus Pipe. So um, okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. Big, big up to Pressure Bus Pipe every time. Yeah, that's yes. a big interview right there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, now I know who uh, who emails he answers. <laughs> <laughs> That's all well, right, you know. pressure. That's all right, pressure. Get out. Uh, I, I'll, I'll wait my turn in the line. We'll get him where uh, we can uh, fit uh, in, right? I'll, I'll right. Send, no send him over here when you're uh, done. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll let him. I'll send him to y'all when I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you know, it's interesting. There are people that you listen to when you're you know when you're when you weren't doing media and you're like i want to interview this person i want to interview that person and so pressure is one of the people that i've always wanted to interview um because i've, I've known i knew his first um dj and i used to talk to him all the time so pressure was so this is something that daring to live your dream i just reached out one day i had a connection and someone connected and said you know can she call you and i reached out and he gave me his contact and it, it happened so that happens every every once in a while when that happens with like a pressure or a Leon or those people, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm really gonna do it. So I really got them to say yes. <laughs> so um yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, so the show is just um all about our culture, all about our diaspora, um 
captivating conversations with various people, doing amazing things within our community. Um, and uh, music, always music, always music, always music. Like I was just dancing. The reason I was out of breath when I first started, because I was up dancing. And then when I saw the time, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Lady Lalabella. You're a writer. Tell us about your process as far as composing a, mm -hmm. something to, um, like you said, give a voice to the voiceless. So um, the initial book was a post-divorce book, and it was something small, Passion and Purpose. And it was just like, you know, the same. I always use the live fearlessly in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. But I wanted to do something that um, uplifted people, mind, body, and soul. The, the collaboration, Broken Crayon Still Color, it's a collaboration about, for, of about, with about 20 plus authors um, talking about um, it's life after whatever we went through. Um, we have people talking about molestation, divorce, not being enough, um, abuse, so many different things. And for me, it took a long time, Queen. It took a long time for me to write that chapter. It's only 2,500 words. And um, I remember the the head author reaching out to me. She's like, your, your chapter is due like right now. I'm like, I can't do it. It's <laughs> just so much. And you, but you have to, you just write down your truth, right? And um, so my process was to just, just blurt it all out, just write it all down, write everything down that I wanted to talk about, and then go back and put the pieces together um, to make the story and create the story. So it was, it's, it's hard sometimes, especially when you're doing a book like that, where you're, you know, you're speaking from something that you've moved through and you're trying to show that you're, you've moved through it, but you're better from it and you've learned from it. So I just tried to be as transparent as possible, as honest as possible. And um, I cried through it, of course, many times. I read it now and I cry. Uh, many people read the book and they tell us, you know, that they, that they can't believe that we wrote some of the things we wrote. My mom, one of the people that I feared reading it was my mom because of the truths I told in it. And um, my mom read it recently. And I remember when she took up the book, she came in the house. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I literally came in my room and I hid for like, you know, big girl that I am, hid in the room for the rest of the night. And um, I heard she called me the next morning. And when she called me, I knew it's like, I, I'm like, I'm going to get a spanking. Oh my gosh. And um, she just told me how proud she was. You know, she's like, you know, I, I, I read it. I, I'm proud of you. I understand your truth. She I also apologized for whatever she did to make me feel the way I felt like I wasn't enough at certain times. Or, you know, like I say, I joke about being shipped off to Jamaica, but I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for the time that I spent in Jamaica. Um, so it's just, we, I just had to be honest, hard, hard, honest, and just write my story the way it was. No, I, I didn't want to sugarcoat anything or cut the edges. I just wanted to be raw with the story. And then Whoever reads it and accepts it, if it resonates with someone, I'm, I'm grateful for it. And with others, it may not. It may be a little bit too harsh. So, and I'm gonna write again. I'm doing a um a divorce book, how to survive divorce. So we're we're in the process of getting that edited, and that should be out sometime this year. So yeah, I'm excited. Congratulations, congratulations! Thank you. Big things, big things, big things. Ladies and gentlemen. Ro Solo, our very, very special guest on the program. Ro, tell everybody how they can follow you, um, the link to get onto the, the, the Phoenix Radio, uh, er everything that they need to know. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Again, thank you for having me. Um, congratulations again on your show. Um, so the Ro Solo show is available, um, is on all platforms. You can get the Ro Solo show, IG, Facebook, and Twitter. And Phoenix Radio is www.phoenix2xsradio.com. Uh, we have programs. It streams 24-7. We have um, programs. Um, we have a morning show from 9 to 1 where we talk about the news, and it's an it's a, um, open conversation. We have my show on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 to 9. And uh, you can follow Phoenix Radio on IG, phoenix2xs.radio. Yeah. All right. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 
Rose Solo to Phoenix. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you so very much. Big hearts, big hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. for being authentically, you. Ro. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Love you guys. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The the, the Caribbean media Phoenix herself, mm -hmm. Rose Solo. Oh, yeah. Now,